Hello there Soul Tribe, welcome, welcome back to my channel, The African Gypsy. My name is Sunshine, here with another weekly psychic forecast for you for the week ahead. Raising your standards. Now Spirit is saying that you know exactly what kind of life you're really supposed to be living. Yes, circumstances may have forced you to take up a different path or your Spirit guides have been telling you to make certain adjustments. Perhaps you haven't been quite uh, listening to it, but Spirit wants you to raise your standards. You know how you're supposed to be living. You know the kind of people you're supposed to be attracting in your life, the kind of circumstances you're supposed to have, the kind of environment you're supposed to be in, the level of life that you're really supposed to live inside one or each and every one of us. We know the real life that we're supposed to live. We might not have experienced it before, but you have an inkling. You know, you know what? My kind of life is supposed to be going like this. This is the kind of connections I'm supposed to have. This is the life I should have. This is how it should look. This is how it should feel. And this is what it is. And perhaps you've also been standing up to universe and just frankly demanding a whole lot more and saying, you know what, universe, I want more. I deserve more. Just like all of God's children, you expect the best. So expect and deserve, you expect and you deserve the best and you're holding high expectations for yourself. Perhaps you have been saying, you know, universe, I, things need to step up for me. I don't know what level I'm supposed to be at, but this is definitely not it. I need to have something better. I heard the word superior. Something more superior, I suppose, for someone um, um, coming into your life. And things are happening that you may feel are a lot out of your control and you don't know exactly what to do, which direction to go, but you're being told, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So whatever direction universe has sent you off into, you trust that direction. You trust universe and you know that you are being guided even though there's an unseen hand behind the scenes, sort of shifting your perspective, making you take side roads, making you circumvent certain situations. You and your spirit guides in sync and you know that you are being guided in the right direction. So I also feel that some of you may have been experiencing uh, poor health, ill health over the past few days or weeks or however long it is, but there's going to be an improvement because Spirit is saying that you've been in an area of ill health, perhaps stagnation, things not moving, not improving, not changing, just staying stagnant, but there is going to be a change in that. Spirit is saying, you know what, it's time to pack up your bags and leave the situation. There's nothing more to be gleaned from the situation. There's nothing more to cry for or go for. No good can come out of the situation if you continue to stay in it. It can only get worse. This may refer to a spiritual situation, an emotional situation where you've been carrying baggage over a long time, crying over the same thing, and Spirit is saying, you know what, it's time to pack up those bags and move on. Time to go. Time to move forward. Yes, you want to sit there and cry about how things used to be, how they used to feel, and how that uh, sensation might not be there anymore. You're crying over th these broken cups, but it, there's no way you can ever bend, uh, uh, mend these cups. For some of you, it's broken trust. Trust, I grew up being told, is, is fragile. It's just like a glass. Once it's broken, it can't be mended. It becomes a mammoth task to rebuild it. Now you're looking at the distant horizons of where you need to go and how you need to progress and move forward. You might not see everything about what you need to do and how you need to get there, but you know for sure that staying in that same situation that you're in is not a part of the solutions, which is why you're trusting the direction the universe is opening up for you. These could be ideas coming into your mind over the next uh, seven days. Whenever you find this reading, that's the right time for you. Remember, the time is fluid, and this is a general reading, so it might not relate to everyone. Take which parts fit for you, leave the rest for someone else. Don't try and make it fit if it's not yours. For your personal reading, reading into your personal situation, please book a, a, a reading with me. My details will be in the description box down below. So some of you are getting some sort of a wish fulfillment, a lot more balance, um, emotional, um, psychological balance, all sorts of balance in your life and wishes are coming true. Dreams are being fulfilled. And it seems strange because you know, we've been told to raise your standards and there's a direction that you've been, you've been led in that you might not quite know, but you need to just trust and you're moving forward from something. You're like, okay, I get it. We just came out, came out of an eclipse. Things are shifting. Things are changing. But I don't know what the next step is going to be. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know what to start manifesting. Just ask spirit to give you a signs about where you need to go. 
So I feel as well that some of you may be, with the new moon in um, that was in Sagittarius, a lot of things may have been revealed to you. A lot of things may have been highlighted as well. And so, um, just for a few of you, you're dealing with someone who's trying to block your progress or trying to block your wish come true. Someone who's actively working to try and keep you in a certain frame of mind to stop you from moving forward, even though you can tell that nothing more can grow out of that particular situation right there. So many of you may be getting a lot of messages, maybe messages, um, good news as well, good news um, concerning children and their affairs. It doesn't always have to be that way, but there may be a lot of good news coming in for you. This is coming in unexpectedly, so this is quite nice energy. In the past, you had a chance to heal, strong Aquarius energy coming through. I've got Sagittarius and Aquarius so far. So in the past, you got a wish come true again. Guys, can you believe this? I've got two wish come true messages in the same sort of um, area right here with the star and this here. So we've got two wish fulfillments coming in. So your wishes are coming through. Some dreams are coming real for you. There's healing on a very deep level. Some of you have been, yes, through that dark night of the soul, the long night of the soul way, 555, as I say, that, that changed you. You went through a long night of the soul that changed you. And yes, you've been through a storm. And yes, it's possible that you are not the same person you were before the storm appeared in your life. You're trying to fit yourself together and some of the old parts don't fit because maybe you're fitting yourself together differently and the storm definitely changed you. And that's okay. That's part of the process. You can't be the same person you were before you were enlightened or before the storm rolled in. So right now, I also feel that, um, I'll take this in the positive. So I feel that some of you may be taking a journey, there may be travels, a, a journey that you've been wishing to have, and you're getting receiving a message about the journey, and you're being told, okay, it's going, it's a go, go, go. It's ready to happen. Maybe that's why some bags are packed for some people. For a few people, I feel that your immigration process is complete, and you may be moving forward, getting ready to pack up, to do a big pack up, and move to, um, or relocate, or whatever it may be, to another state, town, country, continent, whatever the situation is and you're getting the information this is a live feed you may just be about to get it if you haven't already just received it it may be about to come in you're getting the confirmation that yes it's happening you've been wishing for this and it's now happening in the future you are going to be making money from your skills and your talents and there's going to be a lot of balance and stability coming in for you I also feel that, whoa, yeah, this energy came through in the reading for last week. This card didn't actually pop out, but the energy was all around with the 555 that came up earlier on as well to, for today's reading. There is a tower coming in, a tower rolling in that's going to make things move forward. Somehow, I don't feel that this is a bad tower because we've got the tower, but we've got the wish fulfillment coming in uh, twice. So there's something that you've been wanting to dismantle in your life and you're successfully dismantling it so that you can make room for other things, for new energies to come through. This, as I always say, if you've been on this channel before, um, you know the story, you know the inside story. If this is your first time, the inside story is that with the tower coming in, this is an act of God. This is not an act of cleverness. We can't sit back one day, guys, soul tribe. We can't sit back and say, oh, I was so clever. I figured things out. No, 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 no. It's not one of those. Because you see, through an act of God, the sun came through and burnt the turrets of the tower. So whatever you're working towards, God saw that you're putting someone or something on a pedestal. And um, the turrets were burnt off so that you could see what the sabotage was, what was hiding inside, what was sabotaging, energies that were stopping you from moving forward. Because I also, it, the chariot came out reversed the first time. So something's been revealed and something's not moving forward because of the revelations coming in, the revelations that God has given you, that your spirit squad has come in and said, you know, child, you can't move forward like this. You got to know this before you move forward forward so we have the tower coming right in there a lot of major corners a lot of life-changing decisions and situations playing out for the collective as well possibly in the next seven days but remember time is fluid yours may come up the week afterwards or whatever it may be let me just move this into focus so that we can see all of the messages right there so I feel that environmental factors are going to help you and hinder you. Again, more messages are coming in. This could be very good news concerning business, enterprise, and you're needing to use your business acumen to make certain decisions that are leading to a wish fulfillment. So you've got that business acumen. Remember a few weeks ago, you were doing research on a new business. You're working on things. You're looking at doing a short course or just um, some online courses or some tutorials or 
excuse me, read, reading through something. So with that, um, you're getting good news about that and you're needing to use your business acumen to make the right decisions to lead you to your wish fulfillment. Whoa. So we have some toxic energy that has been defeated, that has been turned around, that's been reversed, and you're getting a message that's confirming that, that you know what, uh, this thing used to be a, a blockage in your area, in your life, this is no longer a blockage, um, whether this is a message from spirit or from someone else, uh, totally unrelated. So th the result is you're coming out as the king of swords, very intelligent, and very much in authority, very much in control of your own life. This king of swords didn't just become a king like that. No one just came there and handed him a sword and said, hey, here's the throne right here. Just sit here. You put on this crown. This guy has been through a lot of fights. This is a, a, the energy um, of a, an archetype of a person who's gone through a lot, who's very intelligent, who's very hardworking, who cuts through the BS in a flash and can see the truth at, in no time at all. And they're not afraid to take action. They're not afraid to look conf confrontation straight in the eye and say, okay, I see you've come for me. You know what? I'm ready. Anytime you want me, anytime you want coming for me, I'm ready for you. So this kind of energy that seems to be moving in, obviously because some whatever dark energy or manipulative energy and mind games that were at play, you're getting messages messages that they've come to an end and there's been the tower moment and the tower moment is propelling you to take a certain direction certain action forward and it's interesting that we've got the king here leadership king authority on the on the, on the chariot taking action and this seems to be the same character so you're taking action using whatever scepter you need at, at, at any given time using the proper tools required to uh, fulfill a task wow cutting out what does not serve you Right, let's find out real fast for the collective. Some of you may have taken time out to really just think and meditate and contemplate and ask for it to give you direction, to give you wisdom. Because when you are in a catch-22 situation where any move can be a false move, can be wrongly interpreted, or it can it lead to dire consequences, it's a good time to pause and pray. When in doubt, pause and pray. Okay, what is um, the blockage for the... Yeah, some of you may be going through a lot of depression, sadness, because someone's been trying to block your happiness. But you're cutting through all of that. You're realizing, you're understanding what caused your sadness over a long period of time and understanding that, okay, fine, this caused my sadness. This is not my fault. This is not my baby. It's not my karma. And you're cutting through the BS and taking responsibility, of course, for whatever part you've played and also uh, having the grace to acknowledge that, okay, this is not my mistake. I can't do anything about this situation. This is karma. I'm also picking up that some people have been... Um, realizing why they've been sad over a long period of time, maybe been going through the same karmic test lifetime after lifetime, maybe even with the same people. And with all of that, you, you understand that you need to make different decisions so you can move forward in the best possible strength that there is for you. Okay, quite a couple of cards came through. The hermit was right there at the bottom. I spoke about how some of you have taken a necessary retreat to reflect. Because, you know, the Queen of Swords is very intelligent, the counterpart of the King of Swords. Extremely intelligent, extremely wise. You read the red flags correctly. You're seeing things for what they really are. And you've taken time out. You've gone into hermit mode, taking a necessary retreat from the world to plan pray, prepare, raise your standards, understand what the sadness was all about. And it's also important to understand, is this my own sadness or is this projected sadness? Oh, look at this. Something else is right behind the hermit. Yeah, same message, contemplation, taking time to pause, contemplate, pray, look at things very clearly, understand the dynamics around you, understand what role you play in them and what role you don't play in them. And this is leading you to a lot of success. Some of you may be going into the spotlight. You know, this is quite a contrast from being in the shadows, doing your shadow work, um, healing yourself the best way you could, and then coming out into the spotlight. This is coming out quite strong for some of you. All right, let me find out what is the Queen of Swords looking at? Yeah, you're needing to make some decisions, some judgments, calls that are going to free you from a previous situation. And you're realizing that a necessary change has to come in that's going to free you out of any previous energies that you're operating in. There has to be a necessary change because the darkness has been overturned and you're needing to make certain very, very important changes for your life, for your destiny, for your future and all of that. There's a new awakening, a new awareness 
You now understand things. You know, you've joined the dots. You understand the assignment quite clearly now. Like, let's see, what's the tower moment for the collective? That came out quite fast, guys. Wow, shocking revelations about money. You, you find out the truth about who was blocking your money because we had the chariot come out reverse the first time. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm finding out about the tower. So you're finding out who was blocking your money, who wanted you to be in an area of lack. The same people who block your money are most possibly the same people who need that money in the future. There you are. You're catching the sneaky behavior. The seven of sneakiness. You found out who was blocking your money. For some of these are... Um, exes people from the past people that you thought didn't really have much control over your destiny but they did some spells to try and overshadow your money to try and block up your finances to keep you in lack because they thought that you're easier to control when you're operating in lack and you found that out and this has been overturned on his face the sneakiness to do with your money so some of you may be doing uh, may have done something the past few days oh here we go the hermit again guys in a different deck so yeah, so in the past there was confusion about who was blocking your money and what, what, what the blockage was in your money. For some of you, this thing was ha done 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it, it doesn't matter, 7 years is different for each person. It was done in the past and you were confused about why your money was constantly being blocked or you'd work so hard, you'd have the best strategies. But when 555 five, five, again, when I say that, again, change is coming into that dynamic, into that situation, the way you're viewing your wealth, your finances, your prosperity, your blessings, and you're raising your standards and realizing that some of the failures that you've had in your financial situations are not necessarily a result of you making bad financial decisions, but as a result of blockages that someone else caused for you in the past. So again, you've taken time to take a closer look at things with the Hermit card coming up again taking uh, the chance to take a closer look at the things and you've discovered where the blockages were you and you're praying planning and preparing and, and preparing for a very important project as you come out wow 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 guys this is massive 555 five, five has come out twice so far in this reading alone. So these are like massive changes coming in. And Spirit is saying you're ready for these changes. Some of you have called in these changes. You might not know what they're going to look like. That's why you're trusting the direction that you've been guided in. Because you called for a change. You asked Spirit, you asked God for your, your Spirit Squad for a change. And they brought the change in. It might not look exactly like what you want, thought it would. But it's going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me. Include raising your standards. It's a step up from wherever you were before. You're operating on a higher level, spiritually, mentally, intellectually. You're feeling that even your energy has come up. You've taken the time to replenish yourself, to recharge your batteries, find out where the drainage was coming from, where was the short circuit, where were, were your wires not connected pro properly, what is draining out your, 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 your energy and all of that. You found all of that out in your time alone because spirit came through and spoke to you. I'm seeing the dragonfly right over there as well. This is talking about transformation as well and for me whenever i see dragon blinds there's a sign that says be honest to yourself there's something that you may not want to be honest with yourself about um what your spirit is guiding you to so what is the okay so there was some dark magic that was revealed and you're getting a message that's confirming that and it looks like it's opening up a brand new beginning because this thing was blocking your progress and you're turning your back on the past situations, your past hurts, things that made you cry, that made you sit up at night a long time ago. Then you realize, you know what, I already cried enough tears over this situation. I, I found out uh, what I need to know. I've made peace with my truth. I made tr uh, peace with my karma. I've, I've paid up my karmic debt and I'm moving forward. What popped out for us? Oh, look at this here. This is a lovely energy for you to be in. So you're going to the nine of pentacles. Yeah, for sure. You're finding out what is blocking up your finances for many of you. Your independence and all of that. And you're regaining your independence, your freedom. And you're, you're very bountiful and expanding your hustle, expanding the things that give you finances. I love the fact that we have this bird right here. Um, looks like an eagle. So you're getting a lot of spiritual intel as well and messages from the spirit guides about what was causing the blockage, who was causing the blockage, what they did to make the blockage happen and what you can do to lift up the blockages from your life. So you're getting all this very, very clear intel and you're moving forward because the dark energy has been lifted. The dark energy that was causing you to be blinded to the true cause of your stagnation your blockages you and all of that for some of you you gave someone money they did some spell on that money to cause you to have lack to constantly be in a spirit of lack or this some of these people spoke things into life and you're looking back at some of these patterns like wait 
I'm saying um, things are tight. Wait, that's not even how I speak. That's not my statement. Where did I pick this up? Oh, okay. I remember that someone used to say that to me a long time ago uh, as I was growing up. And I took this to be my truth. This is not my truth. Uh, this is someone else's truth. This one is pop up as well. Your spirit, guys, they spoke about spiritual intel coming in for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So your spirit guides are giving you a lot of revelation and enlightenment about what was going down. And you're open and receptive to the messages that you're getting from your spirit guides. As you're doing that, you're realizing that you're divinely protected. You're in a bubble of protection. Spirit is protecting you. Look at these people coming <coughs> at you. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my throat chakras, they're really going. Someone, they, they really don't want me to give this message here because they don't want you to have this freedom and independence that you have found. You've, you found the key. You found what, what the blockage was. Because once you know what it was, you know how to release it and break it. Yeah. So even though these seven ones can come out at you, they can't touch you because you're sitting in the state where you're above all these situations. You've raised your standards. You've raised your thoughts. You've raised your mindset and you're in sitting in clear meditation with the bubble of protection around you. The circumstance, the environment around you is different from this dark environment where these people are who are trying to fight you because you're praying peace, prosperity, um, love, um, and practicality and all of that into existence. So your spirit guides are there with you. Your spirit team is really there with you. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, you're joining the dots. You, you join the dots. You got the revelation. You got the memo from your spirit guides. And ping, 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 ping. The lights are going on. Now we're cooking with gas. Now you understand exactly what was going on. You've done your research and you can see exactly what was going down. You see where your blockages were, whether there was, these were blockages created by other people for you or blockages that you created for yourself in your own life. You're seeing everything. And this very information that you've gotten is coming on the, with, over the wings of birds. Air energy coming up very strong as well. So maybe something on the airwaves, something coming through in the in the dream realm, something being vocalized, airwaves. So it's coming out like that. And this information you're getting is exactly what you need as you take your last step to get onto more stability. You've been walking a tight rope that has just been loosely put together because you didn't have all the information you needed previously. But as you gather, this information is putting you onto firm ground. And you're sure of your next step, of the direction that the universe is leading you to. This is powerful, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get the strict guys. I like to call them the friars. Friar John and company. What else do we need to know here, Spirit? What does the collective need to know for the week ahead, the next seven days? Yeah, someone may be worried, feel, feel in an energy of worry, feeling left out in the cold. Why is this worry coming through? We spoke about the depression um, or sadness earlier on. Okay, these are too many. What is the cause of the worry and who's this person worrying? Yeah, someone's going through changes. Someone is worried that they've been defeated because we see the devil energy has been overturned over there. So you did some return to send prayers and all of that and they were answered. You send some dark magic back and it, 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 something is changing. Someone is worried that they've been defeated Someone had made a pact to make sure that you stay in poverty and lack scarcity, isolation, sadness, depression, deprivation, and all of that so that they could gain. That is, that's how their contract worked. And now you're walking away from, from that whole energy and you're getting swift information. I also feel that you're getting a practical solution to a problem that you've had for a very long time. And if you should if successfully implement the solution, you're going to be able to heal from the emotional and psychological trauma. Yes, trauma that you've gone through. You're going to be able, oh, there we go. Again, the magician reversed. The devil reversed. The magician reversed. For me, in my experience, I understand that this is definitely, and yeah, with this coming up as well, this is definitely telling me that there was dark magic at work and it's been reversed. You're getting a practical solution. Someone's telling you what, do A, B, C to reverse this dark magic. And someone's now worried that the dark magic has been revealed. And look, you've got your spirit guys, you've got all these totems right there. We've got the elephant, we've got the eagle, the, the different spirit animals, animals the buffaloes. Um, we've got the lions there, all of the totems, many spirit guides coming through. And you see how the spirit guide is coming through with, um, 
with the, with the staff here and within the spirit guide we have the grandmother right there i feel that this is your energy as well for many of you that you may be like a, a high priestess you may be someone who's very spiritual very psychic and people might have wanted to mess with this version of you because they only saw this version of you yet but they didn't realize that there was a bigger spirit guide around you divinely protecting you protecting your peace your prosperity your children your family your dreams your destiny and now someone wants to come back in but I've, in, 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 from what I'm picking up, someone wants to come back in, but they still want to be bread crumbing you. They haven't learned their lesson, so unfortunately, they're going to be um, bound to carry on repeating the same karmic cycle over and over again because that's karma. Unfortunately, you don't get to choose what kind of karma you want to go through. Um, I apologize in advance if I'm quoting this out of context, but there's somewhere in, in the, uh, the Bible where King David decided to have a, a census to count the people, and God was like, no, 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 this shouldn't have been done. And he went back to God, and he's like, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I counted the people, make this all just go, and God's like, yeah, cool, I, I forgive you, but the karma still has to go out, the karma still has to be balanced. I've forgiven you, but you still have to go through the karma. Karma, we all go through karma, whether good or bad. That's why we should always be banking up little brownie points of good, Good deeds, sowing seeds of, of good, of hope, of love, of peace, of healing, generosity, respect for other people, respect for yourself, respect for your spirit squad. If you do anything less than all of those, you will go, you reap also karma that's going to teach you those same lessons. And there's not something that someone would have done that, oh, this person brought karma on this person. We all go through karma. And But I feel that you've paid off your karmic debt. That's why this is your wish come true. You've paid off your karmic debt. The dark magic was released from you because these people got a chance to bind you because you are in a karmic situation and they got the chance to bind you with blockages but you're out of that you've healed from that right let me get um the cheeky ladies the, the cheeky cheeky girls let's see what do they have to say about this person who's in worry about the defeat yes expect some shocking news this week yeah this person was a secret part of the gang this person was secretly fighting you but the involvement was not immediately obvious to you this is under worry and defeat this is a secret part of the gang who was coming out at you because they saw the, the little damsel there, but they didn't realize that the damsel had a huge, huge spirit guide around her, a huge, powerful ancestor, like a root ancestor, like the first, yeah, your, your root ancestors, that's the best way I can put it, your root ancestors standing up for you because the ancestor came out quite a few times today. Tell me more about the worry and defeat. Yeah, the secret part of the gang, now they're turning to each other. He put me up to it. This is forming quite a low storyline here. So something's gone uh, south in the gang, in the, I'll call, just call it the gang, but in the group of people. Because you know, I like to say like this dark witchcraft, dark witchcraft is a team sport. They always look for someone else that they can get on board, who can, they can um, somehow psychically send to start attacking even this person. She has no reason to have any beef with you. But this person will get on a, on a tangent. They'll be, their mind will be affected by the mind games and the spells and they come against you. Yeah, look at this. Dark magic is at play. That's why they're worried because they're defeated. Against dark magic, this is source. You're standing with source, with God, with your spirit squad, with all that's pure. And you've got all your, your spirit team as well, your, your soul team all around you as well so this dark magic is is a lower vibrational kind of an energy when you're in the energy of love there's always a higher vibrational energy so secret part of the gang turning on each other because dark magic is at play the same dark magic they tried to send to you is now at play causing divisions and fights amongst themselves yeah they sold their souls and didn't even wait to get a receipt now they're worried because they've been defeated. They were fooled. The devil's in reverse there. They sold their soul to the devil. And then they didn't get their end of the bargain. Of course, it's, it's never a, a, a clear deal. You know, a, a, a wise man has always said to me, if you're going to make, uh, if you're going to eat dinner with the devil, make sure you're using a long ass sword because you can get burnt in the process. Something's going down on Thursday. Thursday is going to be a very significant day, maybe where you're realizing these things or when this is going down for this gang here. Make sure you stay prayed up on Thursday. Thursday is quite an auspicious day to do your prayers, your manifestations, talk to your spirit squad, invoke their protection. Yeah, could be a Virgo involved here. What is this here, Thursday, Virgo? What do we need to know right here? Yeah, worried about defeat with a group of haters. Yeah, I say that 
part, secret part of the gang there secret part of the gang they are a group of haters with dark magic at play put it, they put each other up to it they sold their souls because they believe they could one up you or steal your blessing or subvert um the course of your destiny you know yeah there we go envious friends family colleagues that's the same group of haters so it looks like something is going down for a group of people because dark magic is at play. What? Okay, what advice will Spirit give us about this situation? How do you need to conduct yourself in this situation when it plays out? Let's get some intel from Spirit here. How does the collective need to conduct themselves to circumvent the situation, to navigate the situation in the next seven days when it plays out? Holy Spirit, please give us wisdom. Oh, all my cards are upside down. Okay. So you're getting financial flow. This is how you, you, you get one up on them. You work on your finances. Concentrate on your hustle, on your business, on your studying, whatever it is. Because we already spoke about how your finances were blocked up and how they've now been unblocked. And now financial flow. So whatever you've been doing to unblock your finances... It has been working. It's been successful. So carry on. If you ever see your finances dwindling, just step out into, into nature, talk to spirit, and ask them to unblock it so that it can flow again. Because look at this. This is coming from source. This is not blood money. This is not money that's coming from rituals or anything dark or from the pain, suffering, torment, and suffering of others. This comes with harm to none. So financial flow is coming your way. I asked Spirit, how do we, what do we need to do as this is going down? Spirit is saying, no, you're getting your financial flow because this is what they were fighting. They were fighting your blessing because you are a river. You're not a pond. When you are blessed, you're a blessing to many other people. You're not a pond. You don't stock up resources. Um, you don't keep resources to yourself. You don't um, let other people suffer when it's within your hands to, to help them. So Spirit is blessing you with a big financial blessing. That's why you're being asked to raise up your standards because what's coming in for you is bigger than anything you've ever experienced before. So Spirit is asking you to raise your standards. Dream the bigger dream. Dream the impossible dream. Think bigger. Feel bigger. Don't get restricted by your circumstances or your environment and know that big things will come for you. Guys, I've loved doing this reading and I'll leave it right here to the next reading. Love and light.